This is Nehemina. Welcome to another new video. In today's video, I want to share the most satisfying 7 days in my life. About a month ago, I got oil pastels for my birthday. Since then, I have enjoyed drawing with oil pastels once a week. I haven't used oil pastels before and I haven't learned the technique anywhere or invest my personal time for it. The particular art supply is new for me, so I've been enjoying drawing with oil pastels very much. Creating art once a week or a month can improve skills, but it affects very slowly. I recently finished the second term of marketing course, so I thought it is the perfect chance to develop art technique. So I decided to draw as many pieces as possible that I can for a week and see the change of my style as well as let's see the difference of the way I think after. I actually came up with this idea just after finishing the previous drawing that is this one. When I drew the mountains in the background with a green colored oil pastel, I wanted to try something new at the same time but I ended up not doing that because I was filming another video and didn't want to make it too long. That's why right now I'm drawing similar landscape but different flowers. Also, I'm drawing in the style I wanted to try yesterday. I'm not sure if I want to be consistent with this style because this project aims to experiment. I just want to focus on how I feel on each day. This is the way how I started drawing without guidelines because I'm not drawing in a realistic style but I'm illustrating the way how I'm seeing the referencing photos. So I didn't feel the necessary of a sketch. The main thing I should do is how I'm going to fill colors in the main body. That's also a main key focus you should think if you feel overwhelmed to make an art. I felt it a lot especially at this point. As using oil pastels, it is hard to draw really neat lines and small details. It means that this oil pastel art effectively improves how to look at small objects as a big body to be filled with my chosen colors. While drawing, it was also nice to feel the solid texture and the pressure to the desk so it was easier to understand where I want to shade and where I want to leave to highlight. It may be because I got used to using a tablet pen.
This is not really Mexican style, but he made a Mexican style salad, so this is my breakfast. I love chipotle very, very, very much. So I'm going to continue drawing with oil pastels. The texture keeps reminding me of nostalgic childhood memories. When I was a kid in primary school and uh, when I went to a uh, local children's private art school, I used to use an art supply called Crepas. I didn't have any ideas about the supplies at the time, but now I'm realizing it was a mixture of crayon and pastels, I guess. When I was a kid, I think I didn't like the supply much because mainly I think I didn't like my hands uh, to get dirty. Also, I didn't work out how to develop the techniques. I was a little kid under 10 years old. I didn't know and understand the way to develop techniques, art techniques, or uh, how to adjust the pressure to the tip of the crab pass. I think I haven't used a crayon or crab pass uh, since I was around 11 years old because the teachers were encouraging uh, to use watercolor pencils or color pencils. But I feel the old pastel's texture is more smoother and the color of crepas was not as strong as the old pastels. Anyway, I'm drawing a similar landscape that I drew yesterday but in a different angle. Drawing the same or similar differences may make you feel unmotivated but it actually gives you time to think about your previous completed drawing again and how you want to recreate for the second, the third or the first art piece
Today it is the third day uh, since I started filming this video and I really feel satisfied with this purple landscape compared to the first <laughs> first art piece. Art piece I can see how much I have been improved so far. Monday morning and I'm going to see a friend and we are going to go to an exhibition called Van Gogh Alive so it is Van Gogh exhibition but the paintings will be um, digital so there will be lots of lights so that's why I chose a very uh, white jumper white sweater white bag and white shoes whenever I visit digital exhibitions or Illuminations. I always wear white shirt, white blouse, white sweater because white shirt, white clothes reflect all of the colors of light. So it doesn't look much better <laughs> and aesthetic. everyone it is on Tuesday and I'm thinking about redrawing some of these drawings in different colors I feel uh, more motivated after visiting Van Gogh Alive yesterday and also I want to try to use the colors uh, he mostly used in his painting so I'm going to redraw these two and then some flowers after
everyone, today is another Wednesday and I completed 30, 30 drawings. I painted and drew mixed media one on the last Wednesday and today I finished these four drawings, these four. I think on the day three I said the, the tulip landscape one was my favorite but now uh, this one is my favorite, the redrawing one of uh, the drawing. I redrew this landscape just after uh, visiting Van Gogh Lab exhibition. It was the last drawing and I felt a little bit exhausted but I like how it turned out unexpectedly. When I was a teenager, I had got trained and I had invested lots of time and effort to get into an, my ideal art high school and university to major in art. By the way, I took the skill test to get into art high school, but I couldn't make it. But it is not the point. The main point that I want to talk about is Try to make one art piece every day if you really really want to improve your art technique. I made four oil pastel drawings every day during the week in this video. The reason is just because I was enjoying these oil pastels recently and it is kind of my new hobby and I just wanted to try something new. Creating one drawing or one painting is totally fine to improve your art technique. If you are having a really long break time, for example, if you draw or paint once a month, it'll be hard to tell how much you have improved so far because your work in progress might be very, very slow. If you feel unhappy with your current artwork or with your current art style, I suggest you trying something new in your next art piece. I know it is a very tough decision. I think that is also the way how you find your art style if you are unsure what is your art style. If you are following my art Instagram and scroll down to check my old drawings, my drawing style keeps changing. Also, when I drew the very first drawing in this video, I used to feel very happy with how it turned out. But now that art piece uh, doesn't make me happy anymore. So I'm not going to draw in this style anymore. And I influence my the newest drawing when I want to draw another new oil, oil painting, the oil pastel drawings. I think that's all I want to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what's your favorite. If you want to see tutorial of one of the drawings or if you want to see a real time my drawing process. I really appreciate you sharing your thoughts and leaving comments. I'm really, really happy to read every or your single comment. Have a wonderful, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!